This video is going to be about the Latin American city um, model as we look at the different growth models for U U.S. cities, primarily the concentric, the, um, the Hoyt or sector model, and then also the multiple nuclei. Um, the Latin American city model is, or the Ford-Griffin model, is something that kind of combines um, both concentric and the sector models together with some, uh, you know, infusing the, the traditional Latin American culture and uh, some of the the elements that we can we took from previous models to to help understand what's actually happening here. So, um, generally speaking, when we look at Latin America, um, we see a lot of primate cities. Um, Mexico City being a primary example of this, where you have uh, a very um, high population, highly dense population, um, surrounded in, oftentimes by um, slums or um, the, the outskirts become uh, places where uh, the poor um, come congregate or come to the, the urban centers looking for opportunity and a better um, life. Um, what else? The other things, elements that we see um, is this, within the central business, business district is that the surrounding areas, um, unlike American models or the, the three models we looked at previously, um, the poor or the um, less desirable place to live are on the outskirts. Um, that the traditional markets and the, in the more uh, central uh, housing is kind of transitions into the high end, being closer to that central business district um, where a lot of the, mar na the natural markets exist. Um, you know, as we look at the transition zone, um, is sort of a, a hybrid of, of some of the things that are happening there. If you look at the spine, one of the characteristic or uh, main kind of identifying characteristics is the sp is the spine that kind of heads between um, the central business district out to the outskirts, where you have a mall, generally another commercial area where you might find um, access for, especially those that are in the most um, impoverished. And you can see along those lines the the elite residential sector, or basically the wealthy. It's the most sta stable. Uh, it's most economically active. Um, and generally speaking, we see the, the highest or the upper class um, residing along in those zones. Um, you know, again, if you're taking a look at Mexico City, oftentimes the, the density is incredibly high. Um, the, the infrastructure is minimal. Oftentimes they're shanty type housing, sometimes put together by scrap material that they have found. Squatter settlements, um, sanitation tends to be very poor um, in the most undeveloped places. Um, or the LDCs. So as we look at that, um, you know, it's very similar in, in some ways to the sector model. Uh, I, you know, if we were to look at transportation or access into these areas, um, but the, as you move away from it, um, you know, the, the industrial park is, moves from the op in the opposite direction as the spine, uh, leading to some of the more um, wealthy uh, neighborhoods. Um, and then in that inner that zone of maturity, as you see this, in some cases, you often see a, 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 a place of, of gentrification or um, a, a, a sort of a rebirth of a particular area near that central business district. And so it's kind of constantly re renewing itself over time. Um, and generally speaking, those migrant workers, again, coming from the rural areas, the least, um, maybe the marginalized, the poor, um, they tend to be on the, the outskirts of this particular model. So again, another element of this is really that idea that most of these places um, tend to be a primate city where because the urban system is so desirable or at least the potential for opportunity um, that we see that, that impact on, on the, the surrounding areas. Um, that, but there's a disproportionate um, population that tends to go to these cities. And you know, establishing those squatter districts are basically um, the, the, the further away you get from the CBD um, the poorer the conditions tend to be, um, which if you compare it to um, the concentric model, um, we see a very different picture um, in the United States. So um, hopefully this is a quick uh, tutorial that uh, helps you better understand the Latin American city model.